We'll see problems regarding Hoffman coding for binary, Hoffman coding for ternary, and Hoffman coding for quaternary for the given symbols with this probability. When I tell Hoffman binary coding, you have only two symbols for code words, 0 and 1. When I tell Hoffman ternary, we can use codes 0, 1, and 2, that is three codes. Quaternary means 0, 1, 2, and 3. So with this, pro with this, we'll start with this problem. First for binary Hoffman coding. So let me arrange these symbols in decreasing probabilities. We have till 7. I'm arranging 0 0.22, 0 0.20, 0 0.10, 0 0.15, 0 0.10, you have 0 0.08, 0 0.05, and 0 0.02. So in the first step, we have to take the last R symbols and form the composite symbol by the addition. So I get 0 0.07. So I as it is, write 0 0.22, 0 0.20, 0 0.18, 0 0.15, 0 0.10, 0 0.08. 0 0.08. Addition of these two is 0 0.07. Next, I take the last two symbols. I get 0 0.15. So again, I write this as it is 0 0.22, 0 0.20, 0 0.18, 0 0.15, 0 0.10. Composite symbol formation is 0 0.15 actually. So that 0 0.15 should be is greater than 0 0.10. So what happens? We see it should go here. That is 0 0.15 and this 0 0.10 should come down. That is what should happen. Now again, last two symbols gives me 0 0.25. When it is 0 0.25 means greater than 0 0.22. So it should be placed on the top. Because if the composite symbol formed is greater than the probability is given, then you have to arrange them in decreasing probabilities. Okay, I get 0 0.15. Next, addition of last two symbols, 0 0.33. Again, it is greater 0 0.33. 0 0.25, 0 0.22, 0.20. This gives me 0.33. Okay. Next, last two symbols 0 0.42, 0 0.42, 0 0.33, 0 0.25. Last two symbols 0 0.58 and 0 0.42. So for 0 0.58, I use the code as 1. 0 and for point 0.42 I write the code as 1. See 0 and 1. So I've got these two 0 0.58, 0 0.42 code is 0, code is 1. So I have to come back and do the coding for the rest of the probabilities. Point 0.42, point 0.42 what is the code here for point 0.42? 1 I write it as it is. But point 0.33 and point 0.25 they have formed they form a composite symbol point 0.48 with code as 0. So that 0 I should write as it is for both and one more 0 and 1 as it is binary. Next coming to the next one, 0.33 you know the code is 0, 0. 0.25, 0, 1. These two symbols forms the composite symbol 0.42. So what is the code here? 1. So it should be 1, 0 and 1, 1. That is what I have written, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Next. Next, come back to the next previous column. 0 0.25 is 0, 1. 0 0.22 is 1, 0. 0 0.20 is 1, 1. But these two we can see 0 0.18 and 0 0.15 where they form a composite symbol. What is the symbol? 0 0.33 whose code is 0, 0. So I get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. See here. So again 0 0.42, 1 is the symbol. So 0 0.33 and 0 0.25. 0, 0, 0, 1. Next, 0 0.33 is what? 0, 0. 0, 0. 0.25, 0, 1. 
what is 0.22 and 0 0.20 they form a symbol 0 0.42 with one as the code so this should have this should be 1 0 1 1 this one is this code word 1 followed by one first symbol 0 next symbol 1 next 0 0.25 is what 0 1 0 0.22 is 1 0 0 0.20 is what see here 1 1 I write as it is 0.18 and 0.15 forms the symbol 0.33 whose code is 00. So I write this 00, 00 as it is. Next, this 0 I write and 1. That completes this column. Next, 0.22 is 10. I write as it is. 0.20 is 11. I write as it is. 0.18 is 3 zeros. I write that. 0.15 is 001. Let me write that. Next, these two form a composite symbol. What is the symbol? 0.25 whose code is 01. So, I write 01, 01, 0 and 1. This is what I have got. Okay. Next, coming back 0.2210, 0.2011, 0.2012, 0.2013. Point one zero, point one zero, point one zero. You can see zero one one. These two forms point one five. So zero one zero. What is the symbol? What is the code? Zero one zero, zero one zero, zero one zero, one zero one. So I write the same code, but for the first symbol I write zero. For the next symbol I write one. Coming back point two two one zero. 0 0.20, 11, 0 0.18, 000, 0 0.15, 001, 0 0.10, what is 0 0.11, 0 0.08, 0 0.08 0 0.1, Next, these two forms 0 0.07. So, you, you have, what is the code word? 0 for 0.05. And 0 0.02, they form the code word 0 0.07, whose code is, right? So, here, this will be, for 0 0.05, it will be 0101. 1. This also 0101, 0 1, but for the 0 and 1. So, these will be the code words which I have written. And based on these length, 0 0.22 into 2, 0 0.20 into 2, 0 0.18 into 3, into 3, into 3 into 3, into 4, into 5 and into 5, you are finding the average length L. Next, you are finding the entropy, which is probability log to the base to 1 by Pi. And next, you are finding what is efficiency, that is entropy by average length. This is how you compute the Huffman coding for binary code. Next, coming to ternary code. For ternary code, you have to use the equation Q is R plus R minus 1 into alpha. Alpha has to be integer. If alpha is not an integer, we you add a dummy symbol to the given probabilities. Up the symbol of probability 0 will be added to make it as an integer. So here R is, here Q is 8 for the problem given. Symbols are 8. R is 3 as I am using ternary means 3. Plus R minus 1, 3 minus 1 into 2 alpha. Alpha is 5 by 2, not an integer. To make this alpha as an integer, this has to be 6. It has to be 6 means this has to be 9. So, I have to add for the symbol, 8 symbols given, I have to add a symbol with 0 probability and construct the ternary code. So, let me do that. 0 0.22, 0 0.20, 0 0.15, 0 0.15. Let me construct the ternary code. 0.15. For binary, we are not using that equation. That is Q plus Q is R plus R minus 1 into alpha. That code is, that equation is not used. We are testing only for ternary, that is ternary and quaternary. 0 0.05, 0 0.02. So, you have 8 symbols. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I add another symbol of probability 0 because alpha is set to be an integer when I add one symbol. For 8, I am not getting it as integer. 
okay next last three symbols i take and i should go on adding until last r symbols are left off i should continue the addition so when i add last three symbols i get 0 0.07 so this gives me 0 0.07 i take the next last three symbols this gives me 0 0.25 plus 0 0.07 gives me point i take the last three symbols 0 0.5 0 0.05 0 0.02 and 0. Next, I take the last three symbols. This is 0 0.01, 0 0.08. Okay, so 0 0.15, 0 0.10, 0 0.08, and 0 0.07. Next, I have to take the last three symbols. I have to take the last r symbols what are the r last r r is equal to 3 so i should take the last three symbols that is these symbols addition this gives me 0.25 it is greater than all these probability so i place it on the top because i should always i should arrange them in decreasing probabilities that has to be taken care 0.15 as it is then last three symbols 0 0.20, 0 0.18, 0 0.33 plus 0 0.15 gives you 0.53. This is your 0.53. Then rest two symbols 0 0.25, 0 0.22. And you see here that last R symbols you take for addition and you stop the addition and last R symbols are left off. R means what? R is 3 here. So left off. And ternary, what are the codes used? 0, 1, and Next, what is 0.25 code for the next one? 1. 0.22 has 2. These three forms a symbol 0. So, this it is having code as 0. So, I write that 0 here. Next, as it is ternary, I should use 0, 1 and 2. Okay, that is what I have written. Next, coming back, 0 0.22 is having 2. 0 0.20, 0, 0. 0.18, 0, 1. 0 0.15, you see. 0, 2. These three are forming 0. 0.25. That is code word is 1, 1, 1. So 0, 1 and 2. This is what I have got. Next 0. 0.22, 2, 0. 0.20, 0, 0, 0. 0. 0.18, 0, 1. 0. 0.15, 0, 2. 0. 0.10, 0, 1, 0. 0. 0.08, 1, 1. These three symbols forming composite symbol 0 0.07 with code as 1 2 so for all three you should write 1 2 then 0 1 and 2 so this will be the entire probabilities with this code 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 so finally your code words are this column So these are your final code words and then you find the average length using these code words. This is length 1, 2, length is 2, this length is 1, this length is 2, this length is 2, this is 2, this is 2, this is 2. This is two. These three are having 3. With these probabilities you are multiplying the length. So PI into LI gives you the average length. Now, if you want efficiency, it is entropy by L. But as you are using ternary code, your entropy will be H3 of S by L. And how are you finding H3 of S? Hn of S is equal to H of S by log N to the base 2. So, I find this equation first. So, H3 of S is H of S by log 3 to the base 2, where N is 3 here. This ternary code. Once I get this, I divide this entropy by average length, I get the efficiency this is how i calculate the hoffman ternary code next if i want for hoffman quaternary i am i have to first calculate the equation whether alpha is an integer or not to check this alpha is integer or not it is q is 8 8 minus 4 by 8 minus 4 by 3 i am getting 4 by 3 to make this an integer okay it should be if i if it if it should be equal to 10 
10 minus 4, 6 by 3. I get that as alpha as 2. So I should add two dummy symbols with zero probability. So let me do the same problem with quaternary. 0 0.20, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.02. These are the eight symbols which are added. Then I add two symbols with zero probability. Next, I take the last R symbols, that is last R four symbols, and I do the addition to form the composite symbol. So, what is the composite symbol? I am getting 0 0.07. Next, I take the last four symbols. I get 0 0.25 plus 0.15 that is equal to 0 0.40. 0 0.40 is greater than all these symbols so it should be placed in the beginning. Next 0 0.22, 0 0.20, 0 0.18. No further addition to form a composite symbol is possible because I am left out with last R symbols. Four symbols are left out so I should stop the addition. Next I should write the code word. 0, 1, 2 and 3 as this is quaternary. Okay. Next for point 22, what is the code word? 1, 2, 0, 2, point 1, 8 is 3. These four are forming code word, forming composite symbol point 0 0.40 with code word as 0. So let me write 0 first for all. Next 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. This is for quaternary. Next point two two is one point two zero it is three point one five you can see zero zero point one zero zero one point zero eight zero two next these four are forming a simple point zero five with zero three so for all four I write as zero three next I write zero one two and three. So, our final code word for the given probabilities are 1, 2, 3, this column 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, 3, 2 and 0, 3, 3. So, if I want to find average length L, it is 0 0.22, this length is 1. 0 0.20. If I want to find average length L, it will be 0 0.22 into average length. Average uh, average length if I want to find, then I should calculate 0 0.22 into 1, 0 0.20 into 1, Pi into L length is 1, 0 0.15 into 2, 0 0.10 into 2, length is 2, 0 0.08 into 2, 0 0.05 into 3, length is 3, 0 0.02 into 3, these two are zeros. So that gives me average length L. Now H of S has to be calculated based on PI log 1 by PI equation. That gives me H of S divided by log 4 to the base 2. That gives me H4 of S. Once I have H4 of S, I can calculate the efficiency as H4 of S by L. To calculate H of S, we have to use the same equation. PI log to the base 2, 1 by PI. Where these are the probabilities. These are the probabilities which are being used. If we calculate average length, we know it is PI log, PI into LI. So PI means 0 0.22. What is the length? 1 plus again 0 0.20. 0 0.20. Again the length is 1. Next 0 0.18. 0 0.18. Length is 3 plus 0.18 length is again 1 for the code word 0.15 length is 2 bits you can see here and so on for all 8 symbols if we write we will get average length L then to find H4 of S because we want efficiency which is entropy by L but this is a quaternary code so I want H4 of S so to find H4 of S I have to find entropy first after finding entropy H of S, which is PI log 1 by PI divided by log 4 to the base 2, I get H4 of S. That 
h4 of s when I divide by average length l, I get the efficiency. 